This is the Video Game Votary. Show your support and hit subscribe right now. Kobe Bryant was born August 23rd, 1978, and died tragically in a helicopter crash just last month, killing nine people, including Bryant and his 12-year-old daughter, Gianna, as well as some family friends and the pilot. So my heart and condolences go out to the families involved in the horrific accident. Kobe Bryant was regarded as one of the best basketball players to ever play the game. It's hard to argue with his stats. Drafted 13th in 1996 by the Charlotte Hornets, was quickly traded to the Los Angeles Lakers for Vladi Divac. So I'm regarded as the worst trade in NBA history. I can definitely second that. But some regard Kobe as being the best player to ever played the game. I personally feel like it's Michael and Kobe patting his game right behind Michael. So I definitely give him a close second. So again, it's hard to argue his stats. Five NBA championships, two finals MVPs, four time NBA All-Star, one time league MVP, 11 time All NBA team, nine time defensive team, two-time scoring champ, slam dunk competition winner, three gold medals, even transcended the game of basketball in 2018 winning an Academy Award for the best animated short film for his film entitled Dear Basketball. So it's hard to argue how great of a person Kobe Bryant was on and off the court. He even built Mamba Academy where his daughter Gianna played with a host of other girls that he was very involved with and very involved with, his, her, with her career and building her up to be a great basketball player as well. So. Today, I decided to dedicate this episode to Kobe Bryant, Gianna Bryant, as well as the other passengers involved in the helicopter crash that so tragically took them all away last month. So, the best way I know how to do it. Today, we're gonna cover Kobe's games, the games that he covered on the face of the cover of the video games, starting from his rookie year and then his second year in the league on up. So sit back, subscribe, catch the vibe, and watch as I pay homage and tribute this episode to Kobe Bryant. Okay guys, so we're gonna get all the cover games that Kobe Bryant was graced on the cover or of his own game. So first we got NBA Action 98 for the Sega Saturn. It was a Sega Sports exclusive. I believe this was the first video game uh, that Kobe Bryant was on the cover of. And this was released right after his rookie season, which was a phenomenal start to his career. So we're gonna take a look at the gameplay from NBA Action 98 for the Sega Saturn. Jump shot, great play. Bryant for two. Nothing but net. Baseball pass from the three point line. No good. Cross court pass. Jump shot. Nothing but net. Next, we have Kobe Bryant and NBA courtside for the Nintendo 64, released in 1998. This was in Kobe's second season in the league. He was just 19 years old, the youngest player in NBA history to have a video game named after him and in his honor. This is the first of two, um, actually of three games in the series. Two being for N64, one being on GameCube. 
So watch as we get some footage from Kobe Bryant's NBA courtside. Next, we have the sequel to NBA Courtside star Kobe Bryant's NBA Courtside 2 featuring Kobe Bryant, also for the Nintendo 64, released the following year in 1999. Uh, as you can see, the graphics picked up a little bit. I'm very familiar with this title in particular. I played a lot of this um, as a kid, and I did this just because I had the N64, and this was exclusive to that, so I spent a lot of time playing this as a kid. Baker snapped off a chest pass to Patterson. Flagrant foul. He gets butchered. That was not a smart foul. He bailed him out on that one. And it's no good. It's knocked loose. Bryant unload. Good work. Good shot by Bryant. Peyton finds the open man. Grant pulls up and it's no good. Bryant goes up. What a phenomenal move by Kobe. That was a monster dunk. Peyton. Also in that same year, we saw the release of NBA 3-on-3 featuring Kobe Bryant for the Game Boy Color. Um, as you can see here, this is the only way I can get footage. Um, unfortunately, for the Game Boy, I got it through the Game Boy Advance SP. I tried to do the best that I could. But nevertheless, NBA 3-on-3 featuring Kobe Bryant for the Game Boy Color.
Next, we have what was probably my favorite out of the NBA Courtside series is NBA Courtside 2002 for the Nintendo GameCube. Um, this is a game that I definitely probably played the most out of any of Kobe's three games, um, especially being that I had the GameCube and my brothers had PlayStation and Xbox respectively. And um, now again, I was a big sports fan back then. So to get my basketball fix, I played a lot of NBA Courtside 2002. Uh, great game. Let's check out the footage here. Graphically, out of the three games, I believe this was the best out of them, and I believe they improved with certain mechanics, and I've thoroughly enjoyed playing this game. Iverson passes to Snow. The Iverson. Iverson puts up the shot. The big Aristotle with the inbound. Ryan! Oh! 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 Ryan! Kobe always known oh. as a Laker, but don't forget, he was originally drafted by Charlotte in 96 and then immediately uh, traded to Los Angeles in exchange for Vladi. <laughs> Over the heartbreak. Next, we have NBA 07 for the PSP. There was three different cover variants of this game. Uh, one being on the PSP, one being on the PS2, the third one being on the PS3. All three covers were different, so I decided to pick all three of them up. Right here, you're going to see some footage of the PSP. I've yet to get the AV cable to um, directly um, stream out from the PSP. So, unfortunately, I had to get footage like this, but nevertheless, check it out. Next, we have the second of the cover variants of MEA 07. This one being for the PlayStation 2. Um, obviously, there's a difference in graphics between the PSP and the PS2. But nevertheless, here's the footage of the gameplay. Um, I had actually never played uh, NBA 07 at all up to this point. Um, so, here it is.
Nowitzki with a two-point shot. Next, we have the third of the cover variants of NBA 07. This one says in full 1080p HD, this was for the PS3. Um, in 2007, Kobe was coming off his first ever NBA League MVP, and he went back to back with NBA League MVPs both 2007 and 2008. And clearly, you can see graphically this was superior to the PS2 as well as the PSP. So, check out the game footage here. Jason Terran. Kobe Bryant hits the three. Dirk Nowitzki with a two point shot. Kobe Bryant with a two point shot. Next, we have 2K Sports NBA 2K10. This is coming off uh, Kobe returning back to the finals and capturing another NBA championship. This time, uh, outside of the duel of Kobe and Shaq, now with Kobe and Pal Gasol, and they captured their first of two championships as they went back to back uh, the following year. Check out the gameplay footage here from the PlayStation 3 version. Kobe Bryant. What doesn't he do? Well, we know he scores, but you know he's become even more of a leader, and I think he appreciates what's around him. I agree with you wholeheartedly there. He knows he's going to need to score big points on a regular basis, but he also knows he has a little more help this season. It ought to be a compelling game to watch. Thanks, Clark. So the Orlando Magic able to put the first points up on the board. Here's Howard up high in town hall. Get up! Bryant. Yes, from downtown. Well, he knocked that one down, but it wasn't the best shot selection. With so much time left on the clock, you ought to work it around and look for a better shot. Now Nelson, from just inside the arc, that's good. Jameer Nelson has a tattoo on his back that says, all eyes on me. And boy, that has been true because the rest of the team is ready to go. They've been waiting for a point guard. Nelson might be the guy. He very well could be answering that call, Kevin. He's solid. He's confident. And he's a guy that's an offensive-minded point guard. And I don't necessarily mind that as an analyst. It's not, a, it's, not, it's not a problem to me if a point guard can score the basketball. It's important that he understands. Last but not least for the Kobe covers, it's NBA 2K17, the legendary edition with Kobe Bryant on the front. This Xbox One version is sealed. I did not open this. I went and bought another version um, for me to open um, that I got the footage for this gameplay. Uh, this clearly is leaps and bounds from all of the previous games, even 2K10. This is just far more superior um, in the current gen of um, gaming and this is probably the best one um i feel like the legendary edition with kobe on the front um has enormous significance in light of his recent tragic passing and i refuse to open this i'm gonna definitely keep these all together as a collective and absolutely keep this version sealed so check out the gameplay footage right here and this is a ps4 version as well Use this indicator as an aid when playing on defense. It points to...
To do a normal pass, press pass. You Information and you still can see the right. Dispatch your situation, but you're wasting all your time. You're wasting all your time. And you're wasting in your prime. And you just don't seem to mind. So this concludes my Kobe episode and my tribute and paying homage to the late great Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gianna, as well as the victims in the helicopter crash that tragically took all of their lives. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. This is your boy, The Video Game Voter, signing off. Thank you for watching. Follow me on all social media platforms at Video Game Voter.